Good morning and welcome to the Stalls TV Morning Show. I'm Josh. And I'm Courtney. And we are fresh off of the ISS Fort Worth show. We're excited to be here back in the studio and kind of reporting to you guys and showing you some of the hot trends and new products we saw at the show um, this past week and kind of how you can start to incorporate them and expand your business with what we were able to show customers at the show. So if you weren't able to attend the Fort Worth show, we're excited to share with you what we saw and some of the customer interactions that we had. If you were there, we're excited to kind of share with you maybe some things you had missed um, or some stories we had from the show as well. So I think we start with day one. We got there um, on Tuesday, set up for an all-day workshop. So do you want to talk, Josh, a little bit about kind of the education we gave there? Yeah, absolutely. So um, this is an all-day workshop. So if you are traveling to a show, um, especially the ISS shows, we do the all-day workshops the day of uh, setup for exhibitors, I guess. So it's the day before the exhibit space opens for attendees. So we got to spend, I think, six hours plus a one-hour lunch with a group of about 60 folks. And this was a sort of hands-on heat printing event where these uh, customers or decorators or aspiring decorators were able to really just experience heat printing and all that it has to offer. So uh, we went through everything from screen printed transfers to CAD cut materials in depth to print cut materials, bling transfers. There's a whole lot. A whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> um, we're going to share with you a photo of some of the decorators that were at the event, but they all got a uh, hands-on experience where they get to decorate a flat bill cap, a bag with glitter flake, and a t-shirt with a screen printed transfer. And, and often, you know, these folks are excited. It may be their first experience actually using and locking down a press um, at these shows. And they get to do it not only once, but three times in that right. class. And then, of course, down on the trade show floor. Correct. So uh, you, you helped with the workshop. Uh, we sort of tag teamed it right, with some help from our Stalls Texas reps, what were some of the um, most exciting things or things that decorators responded to the most in your mind? Yeah, so it's hard. You kind of touched a little bit on a lot of the things. It's hard to compact everything you can do with a heat press in six hours, um, especially with a lot of the hands-on. But decorators were excited about pretty much everything from getting started. But one thing that a lot of people seem to not know a whole lot about, and I think you shared the same experience, was performance wear. Yeah. So it still shows how Although the fabrics and the apparel is trending more towards performance where we're still seeing a lot of decorators having challenges printing it. Yeah, so I think I shared the tagline, you got to drop it if it's too hot, right? Correct. So that, that's the key here. Uh, heat printing seems kind of counterintuitive for performance wear, but really it's the ideal solution. Uh, but you can't heat print the way you used to up at 330, 365 degrees. Right. You need to look for specific materials that you can drop down to 280 degrees and below to start to accommodate these heat sensitive fabrics. Um, and to that end, we, we sort of feel so strongly about the impact that performance wear that's gonna have on decorators business. We had a whole another hour and a half class dedicated to top challenges with performance right. wear. Um, so clearly, you know, we do this workshop and then we dive in deep on the things that we feel are most important to decorators that ISS accepts as submissions. So performance wear is one of those. And then you did another one on heat printing bling. Yeah, so it's funny because those are kind of the two topics that we saw at this trade show and that we've seen all year long as far as what people want to expand with. Performance wear was one of them. It was a highly attended class. And then we had cha-ching with bling. So decorators are still trying to find ways to make more money with bling with new technologies. We have a lot of customers that have made whole businesses off of just bling. So for that class, um, one of the most popular things that we'll show you here a little bit later in application was actually a heat printing foil using a plastisol transfer and foil as well as sequins and a lot of the metallics and glitter. Yeah, and actually we took some uh, footage from the trade show floor. I'm going to kind of mix up our order here a little bit, but um, a stalls company, The Wild Side, um, offers a ton of bling finishes and we were able, uh, actually able to capture some video from their booth that will sort of uh, narrate and step you through. So we're going to pull that up from the trade show exhibit space. And this is the Wild Side, who's a fairly new group stall company, but they kind of fit in in that they do a lot of stock uh, transfers, not only uh, high detailed screen printed transfers, but a lot of bling stuff that we're looking at here. So how can a decorator best incorporate stock transfers in bling into their heat printing business? Yeah, a lot of these stock transfers, with bling transfers in general, can get pretty expensive and time consuming to make your own rhinestone transfers um, or your own spangle transfers. And so a lot of decorators can purchase these stock transfers very inexpensively. They're high bling, they've got a unique finish to them, and then personalize them with CAD cut film and other bling technologies like CAD cut glitter flake, 
or just personalize it with maybe cat gut fashion film or different t-shirt materials. So there's a, a whole range and it allows you to meet this market, make a high margin profit and not have a whole lot of cost involved. Yeah, that's key. A stock transfer does the bulk of the work, right? right? I wouldn't want to weed or brush stones for some of those crazy designs that you saw <laughs> on the screen. But the idea is here is we can take a component, we can quickly heat press it, and we can drop something simple like a text drop that's a high school name or a kid's name, whatever it might be, to make it a little nicer. So that was from the Wild Side booth. Um, another class that you did was Heat Printing 101, which covered a lot of the basics of heat printing and sort of the startup questions that decorators have. What did you find in that class? It did. So I get a lot of the questions. Um, I've been doing the Heat Printing 101 type class for years now, and I always get the same class um, or same question in every one of these classes, and it's, what materials do I apply to? What fabric? When do I use? What transfer? It's by far, and a lot of you um, watching the morning show are probably thinking the same thing. There's so many options. So we kind of step through all of the different heat transfer technologies and when to use which one for the best print. Good. I think while you were giving that class, we had an opportunity to shoot some uh, footage in the booth one morning where we could answer this exact question, what heat transfer film is best for what, in the form of a tour in the booth to give you a little bit of that experience. So. Um, let's turn it over to that section that we shot, I believe it was uh, Friday morning. Good morning, we're here at the ISS Fort Worth show before it opens. I just wanted to take a moment to show you how we display our CAD cut materials and walk through some of the different finishes. Uh, we start with our athletic material, which is thermofilm, great for sports uniforms, inhibits dye migration. And then we move to one of our most popular materials, which is our lightweight t-shirt material called fashion film, available in a wide range of colors. If you need stretch or printing performance wear, there's CAD Cut Premium Plus. Once again, very soft, applies at a low temp so you don't scorch those fabrics. And then if you're looking for an economy option, there's Sport Film Light. Once you get past those four core materials, we move into some of our special effects. Everything from brilliant glitter flake materials to metallics through our Fashion Film Electric line, CAD Cut Hologram, which has a really holographic sparkle, the CAD Cut Flock, which is a raised finish, a nice comparable or alternative to embroidery. And then, of course, 3M Scotch Light Reflective, which is really popular uh, for decorating uh, apparel for roadside work crews, landscaping companies, anybody that needs some extra visibility. Of course, when you visit a trade show, you can see all of these products, touch, feel, experience them. You can pick up color swatches of all the popular products. There's a ton here that are available to you. And then check out some of the products in use from applications on the footwear, to hats, to bags, to jackets, you name it. You can see it all at a trade show here in the stalls booth. So the, uh, the trade show floor space is a great place to really ex have product come to life, touch and feel different products and samples, pick up color swatches and tools, and, and just really get inspired and get ideas for your business. Right. And it's really cool. We get to sometimes experience the same customers over and over at the trade shows through classes and really get to know them in their business. And we just wanted to share a couple uh, customer success stories. I think you had one called The Bow Place. I did, yeah. So um, we've been attending the ISS Fort, show, Fort Worth show for about five years now, doing education there as well. So I get to meet and see a lot of the customers. And one exciting thing about this one particularly was, um, you know, I helped them get into business, sold them their first heat press, and they're starting to expand. And um, they were printing hair bows, hence the name. And now they're starting to add more products um, and get a larger heat press so they can print more items, print more bows at once, just kind of grow into their technology. So it's exciting to see a lot of our customers from the education and from the booth and get to see how their business is doing. Now, that cu customer, a couple years ago, what press did they start with? Um, it was actually one of the Hotronics Max presses. Okay, so a, a startup sort of price point, quality press, but... Correct. Um, controlled price point, and then they moved this year into Hotronics Fusion, so a little bit larger machine. They had a um, a small 15 by 15. They moved to 16 by 20, and now they've got all the bells and whistles of interchangeable platens and all that. Yeah, and that's another hot thing. It shows are these interchangeable platens. You know, we I think launched the shoe attachment. I don't know. It's been five years or so ago, but it's just people are seeing it for the first time at the trade show. For those of you that saw the shoe sort of on the uh, the wall space there, but our latest attachment that drew crowds in every city we've been to this past year is the hat bill platen. So what products are people heat printing on the hat bills and how are they doing it? Yeah, so a lot of customers are um, printing the top of their hat in their traditional method either with a cat press or embroidery and then they're adding um, either some glitter flake or some personalization underneath the flat bill with that flat bill platen. So we see a lot of full color, a lot of bling, a lot of electric metallics and some unique finishes to really complement the 
the top print. Good. And we have videos on Stalls TV on the Hatfield Platte, and I don't have any video to bring you of that particular thing, but some of the other hot items in the booth, uh, sublimated glitter flake uh, was huge. We reported here on the Stalls TV morning show uh, a few weeks back. Um, really, this product's starting to come to life for people. We want to share a quick video that we'll sort of narrate here for you uh, of sublimated glitter flakes. So this combines the oversized jersey trend, this particular garment, the pom-pom jersey, with a printed pattern on the bottom half. And of course, we've paired that up nicely with a sublimated hair bow. And this is just a, a way to up the profit on this already profitable piece. And then sublimating the white glitter flake for applications to apparel. And I think you actually created this piece, right? I did, yeah. The sublimated glitter flake, this is kind of just the infancy of what you can do with it. Now you can offer chevron patterns, tribal patterns, different prints that you weren't able to offer before in bling and in glitter. Um, aside from that, we have a lot of customers, just their, their minds are racing with what they can do with photo images. Um, they couldn't apply to cotton before with their sublimation printers, and now this is giving them a way to do that. Um, so there's a whole range of things you can do. You can print mascot prints, you can print certain Pantone colors maybe for a corporate client and now offer that bling to them. Yeah, yeah, that's a, it's exciting stuff and one of the most popular samples outside of the hair bows was the rip away applique right. where we sublimated the panel of glitter flake for embroiders uh, for the rip away applique. Um, once again, you need to get to a show to see all these cool and interesting applications and experience them in person. Plan to spend hours in the <laughs> stalls booths each day. Um, Speaking of full color, just sort of the last uh, trend I want to hit on that ties back to a sort of customer experience. There was a, a lady by the name of Trisha that was uh, with Phillipsburg Tea. She attended the workshop in several classes, and we spent a fair amount of time together. Ultimately, she ended up making uh, an investment for her business into new equipment. Uh, but one of the key things that caught her attention was the ability um, in her town to upgrade garments and offer premium quality stuff in particular uh, fabrics that can be just heat applied to garments. So instead of investing in uh, expensive embroidery equipment, she started with a heat press and started to incorporate these different fabrics. And the, the fabric I want to show you is just a full color uh, sublimated uh, textured twill product that's available as CAD prints permatwill. So we'll give you a, a sneak peek here at that. Um, this was just a display in the booth where we've sublimated this textured twill. And this is a way to get full color that's a little higher end and you don't have that vinyl idea, right? right? Yeah, we have a lot of customers doing this, um, a lot of embroiderers using this in place of stitching so that they can help drop the cost and get more throughput using their heat press rather than using their embroidery machine on a large print like this that's full color. Good. And then the other sort of second piece that you saw there was just a CAD prints uh, transfer applied to a hat. And the idea there was we created the design to match the blank wearable. It sort of fit right into that oval right. section on the hat that we sourced and just a way to sort of elevate uh, that look. And then the, the last product that we will have a Stalls TV video coming out on, hopefully later today or tomorrow, uh, we just signed off and approved it, is using a product like SimStitch um, lettering for heat application, whether that's on oversized jerseys or on a hat, whatever it might be, but there's a lot of different choices for twill-like lettering um, that looks like it's sewn to upgrade those looks and generate more profit for your business. So, are you ready to show the most popular application in the bling section? I am. Okay, let's walk over to the heat press and show you that. So this was an application that actually surprised me. I've never shown this in any of the bling classes throughout um, 2015, but I decided to incorporate it just for a new foil look, um, and it was by far the most popular in addition to some of the rhinestone transfers we talked about a little bit earlier. It uses a plastisol puff transfer and mixes it with a heat transfer foil or a foil that's been used traditionally for screen printing foils. So I'm just going to load my garment onto my heat press and walk through the application so you guys can see the finished results. I'm just going to thread this and load it onto the Fusion. As with all heat transfers, I'll preheat to get some of the moisture and wrinkles out. I have my heat press set at 335 degrees. And then the transfer I'm using is actually just a puff transfer from the wild side. So it's just a um, traditional Plastisol puff ink. So if you're working with um, a lot of the Plastisol transfers, this one would be a stock transfer, but the same principles apply if you wanted to just do a traditional Plastisol ink transfer. This one applies at 335 degrees for eight seconds, so I'll adjust my time and temperature there in a medium pressure. Okay. 
Once that's complete, I can peel my carrier back. So that puts my adhesive or my puff transfer down on the garment. Of course, if you just wanted a single color puff print, you could easily leave this as is, but I wanna add a little bling. So I'm gonna line up my heat transfer foil over the transfer and it's gonna stick just in the areas of where the ink has laid down. Cover up my foil with a cover sheet so it'll hold it down for the application. And then I'm just gonna hover my press over it for about four to five seconds. So you're just making light contact in this stage, sort of resting the heater against it? Correct. Since I have a puff transfer, I want to try to um, eliminate the puff from being smashed down on the garment. As with all heat transfer foils, this is a cold peel, so I'm going to let it cool down a little bit here. And we can talk about some of the other looks that we saw that were really popular. One of those um, was actually the sequin transfer and mixing and matching it with different CAD cut materials. So. Um, one design I have here actually mixes a heat applied spangle with cat gut glitter flake. And this is where we're talking earlier about the ability to incorporate um, stock transfers mixed with cat cut transfers to create an expensive personalized look. And this spangle transfer really picks up a ton of lighting depending on the colors of the garment and just offers a huge opportunity if you're already decorating for bling. I actually had a lot of customers that have done rhinestones for a number of years that are kind of saying that the metallics and the sequins are where the trends are starting to go, so this is a great way to incorporate that. Let's head back over to the Fusion and see if my transfer has cooled down enough for me to peel. Feels like it. Peel back that foil print there and you can kind of see the finished result gives you kind of a foil distressed look, something very unique. So this works great for stock transfers like this from the wild side. If you're looking for custom designs, you could always order Plastisol custom transfers without the puff from Transfer Express and do the foil as well. So it's a huge trend, something that's easy to do with the heat press. Yeah, that's a pretty unique effect. I, I was surprised this was sort of a late addition to the class because the wilds that were there and we we're like, wow, that looks awesome. Uh, we've seen it before, but we're like, yeah, we have to incorporate that. And I guess it got the best response in yeah, the class, it did. correct? Yes. So heat transfer foil, heat press foil, we always get questions on how I can do it without having to have a screen printing press. Um, this is one application that you can start to incorporate foil into your business. And, and foil's pretty inexpensive stuff, cost about a dime uh, per print, plus of course the cost of your puff transfer. Right. But you know, create a sales strategy that upgrades these looks and, and creates sort of higher perceived results. And to that end, we want to show one more uh, customer success story. This lady also attend, attended the workshop and she ended up sending us photos actually to Zach, um, who's not here on the morning show with us today, uh, sent Zach some photos of some high-end sort of varsity jackets that she does. So let's switch over to these and I'll sort of walk through them. So this particular shop does custom chenille patches and most of their jackets are done out of chenille, but in order to upgrade and have that sort of bling look, um, they're starting to do custom jackets in products like Glitter Flake with Rip Away Applique. Now we've seen a lot of customers jump on to this Rip Away Applique trend, but this is by far the highest sort of value item I've seen decorated with it. She's selling these jackets all day for $500. Now of course, there's a long sales process that goes into this where I guess every interaction uh, is pretty much about four hours FaceTime with a customer back and forth to wow. get this finished result, but customers literally travel from hundreds of miles away to get this look. So one of the coolest thing, things about a trade show is we get to interact with these customers, hear these stories, really have the efforts that, that all of us here at Stalls put in day to day right. sort of come to life. So uh, if you're a Stalls employee watching, just know that all of your hard work is translating into successful customers and for our customers that are succeeding, just know we get the fun of being on the Stalls TV morning right. show, but there's a whole bunch of folks behind the scenes that help to make this thing work to help grow your business. So. Um, at this time, are there any questions coming in from our viewers, Joe? Yes, uh, Kenton wants to know, what's the Wildside website and how much do the Wildside products cost? Sure, the website is thewildside.com. So you can visit there and they have all their transfer options sort of cataloged there. Uh, the cool thing about the Wildside is once you set up an account, as long as you order in sort of a dozen pieces plus, you get half price from the prices that are listed at retail on their website specifically for the bling products. So uh, prices vary on their products, but if you create an account or request a catalog from the wild side, uh, actually, if you just want a catalog from the wild side, just type in wild side catalog. We'll make sure that we follow up with you and send you one that has their price list as well.
Folks want to know, of course, are the morning show uh, sessions being recorded because of the popularity of them and, of course, because of the great information that's coming out. And they also would like to know if uh, Stalls is now carrying a varsity jacket. Sure. We don't, at Stalls, we don't sell blank wearables. Um, but Transfer Express has a blank apparel line. So if you visit transferexpress.com and click on apparel, they have a ton of options there, including outerwear. outerwear. There's also options um, from Sanmar that offer varsity jackets. And gosh, I can't remember the other one that we saw at the show. I have oh. to check my literature, but there was a, a new company offering these sort of varsity jackets as well. But I know Sanmar has some cool stuff. Um, there as well. And yes, Morning Show is always recorded and archived under the Morning Show link on stallstv.com. Another question following up on the varsity jackets again, just being impressed by the quality of what they're seeing in there. Looking to, to know if we would be producing a video on that uh, shortly. We can work on that. We <laughs> aim to please. So we will uh, we'll do a little bit of more homework there on sources for varsity jackets. We'll make sure we add that information to the Stalls TV blog soon as well. There are no other questions at this time. Okay, good. Well, that just a little taste of what happens at a trade show. So we asked you a poll question when you first came on about are you attending any of these upcoming shows. For those of you that are and responded to one of the locations, we hope to see you there soon. Uh, just to recap where we're going next, uh, give the viewers a little idea of where they can meet us. Yeah, so this year we still have um, the SGIA trade show in Atlanta, which is the uh, November 4th through 6th still one of the largest shows internationally. So whether you're an international customer or um, local, feel free to stop and visit us there. We're excited. We've got a ton of classes in the booth, as well as all of the great things you guys saw here you can touch and feel. Aside from that, 2016 has a pretty robust um, schedule for stalls and for stalls TV. So we're going to be at the ISS Long Beach Show, which is our West Coast version of what you've seen. A lot of great things, a lot of new things for 2016 will be there. And then in March, we'll be in Atlantic City at that show also. Yeah, and there's actually um, the other one that, that pops out for South, or actually for Southeast, um, ASI Orlando in January. And I believe ASI Dallas is in February. February. So regardless of where you're at in the country, trust me, it's worth a, a six, eight-hour drive or even a couple-hour flight um, to get yourself to a trade show. So... As always, we appreciate you attending the Stalls TV Morning Show, and we'll see you next Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for watching.